everybody. Um, I've been told I should use the stage. Oh, it's all big and scary. So um, I do a project called Glace Chase. Glace is a um, character that I created several years ago um, who's like a satiric character. Um, he's dementedly camp and he's an aspiring, <laughs> inspirational personality. So let's see if... Um, here we go. There we go. There's Glace. As you can see, he's there um, at his uh, agent's house, where he's also a living companion, which is a really great way to uh, uh, strategize a career, I think. Um, now, Glace is a character, as I said, I've been doing for a couple of years, and it came about through comedy festivals and live performances. Um, and I had, had been developing it that way. I'd also been doing a few sporadic sort of um, performances and gate crashings of events and celebrity interviews that were loaded up on YouTube and featured um, on uh, Same Same website uh, uh, and uh, in the queer media in Sydney and around the country. Um, a couple of those highlights were uh, going to the Melbourne Cup where I sweet-talked my way into the birdcage. Um, there was another great one uh, around World Youth Day where I uh, went to a Christian rap concert. <laughs> Uh, and uh, got into the mosh pit and uh, went down with Father Stan. Uh, that was pretty good. And also one of my favourites was uh, uh, doing a nude installation, a nude, for, a nude interview with the acclaimed installation photographer Spencer Tunick, who of course did his um, uh, installation out there in the Opera House with several thousand people. Um, so here, I'll just show you a few more clips of Glace. So there he is in the living room. Uh, here he is touching up his eye makeup, which is always important if you know you want to impress those high powered men in positions of power. Um, and here is Glace, realizing that he can do his bit for the environment just by looking at his lifestyle and taking out all those wine bottles. Um, so I I'd been aware for quite a long time that Glace had a really a great potential to sit in a sort of transmedia context, but I'd never really taken ownership of what that meant. I'm a, a writer and a performer. Um, I've, I've never really produced my own content and certainly not in uh, that way to, uh, to sit across a transmedia world. So it was a bit new to me. But late last year, I did um, a Metro Screen uh, Transmedia Masterclass, which uh, sort of helped pave the way for a web series I had uh, the idea for, which was called All the Way with Glace Chase, an aspiring, <laughs> inspirational personality. Um, uh, so the way Glace operates is he's sort of a camp barometer of the social mores of society. He's very trashy, he's very lovable, but he just um, gets in there and shines a, a mirror, I guess, onto what's going on into society and satirises it from a very camp perspective. Um, so out of this masterclass uh, came a whole kit of um, uh, materials, uh, some of which I'll show you right now, which uh, I'll show you the opening credit sequence for the web series. I'm just a boy in Sydney, my name is Glace and I want to say, I'm full of love and I'm here to stay, I'm going to go all the way, I'm going to go all the way, yeah, all the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so yes, it is frenetic, it's crazy, it's fast-paced, it's a bit schizoid, um, much like the character of Glace himself. And uh, earlier this year, um, it, uh, I, I started uh, producing episodes. Um, uh, they were launched on YouTube and then with a, a big sort of campaign on Facebook, I guess, which is where I guess most of my social... Uh, media uh, influence is. I, I feel quite comfortable on Facebook. So I started producing episodes and uh, they were going well. Uh, it was sort of slow to begin with and it was around Mardi Gras time that um, stuff started to rev up a little bit more for Glace. Uh, Mardi Gras at the time were running uh, something that you may be aware of called the Say Something campaign. Now this was a chance for um, uh, for participants and uh, I guess the queer community to get out there and say something about Mardi Gras, say something about gay rights, um, say something political if they wanted. Of course, most of the, the responses were about gay marriage and 
I dare I say, dare I be a little bit political and say how hard it is being a gay person in this day and age. And I'm not quite sure I quite believed that. And I certainly knew that Glace didn't. So I decided it was time to get up there and say something different. So I did a little um, a webisode where I did say something um, a bit different and uh, critiqued uh, marriage and babies, uh, critiqued, said that I hate marriage and babies. I, I see a baby on the street and I just want to scream, I'm young too, you know. <laughs> and then I did something that uh, had, uh, had a, a quite a big uh, follow-on effect. And I'll show you the final bit of this uh, Say Something video, the last minute or so. Remember all those right-wing conservative Bible bashers that said that gays would amount to nothing? It's hard to believe that they were right. You can't even be arrested for trying on a pair of women's underwear anymore. I mean, I think the gayest thing that you can be these days is a heterosexual. That's gay. I'm starting a new movement because I've realized I'm something else. You're a total gay. So it's with a heavy heart and firm longing that I hang up my gay badge because I am no longer a gay. What I am, it's revolutionary. We've toppled governments, we've caused wars. We may be oppressed, we may be scared, we may be hiding, but it's time to stand up and make a difference. We're no longer gonna take it lying down. We're here, and we're terrifying. I'm not a gay. I'm a total bottom. Now that's saying something. Play straight. Play straight. Play straight. So Glace Chase came out as a total bottom. Um, and I, uh, and for of course those of you who aren't aware of what a bottom is in gay language, well that means uh, to be crude, the girl in the gay relationship. Um, and I guess even I was a little, I thought it was a pretty hilarious thing to do. Um, I hadn't quite expected the sort of response it would get. It, would, it sort of touched a nerve. And from that moment on, Glace started to really work. Um, even from the day I actually posted the video, I had a gig that night. It was, it was Mardi Gras night. And um, uh, it was uh, quite funny. I had a, a range of men coming up to me and putting their arms on my shoulders and saying, oh, I saw your video. I just wanted to say, I really enjoyed it. And I thought, well, this is great. At least, if nothing else, my dating life's going to improve, right? <laughs> <laughs> but what actually really happened, even more so, is there was a, a level of interactivity, and it hit a nerve, I think, for some people in the gay community. They wanted to um, uh, participate and uh, engage in this. They got the irony, the camp content, and it sort of was a little bit political, too. It sort of seemed to say something. And I started hearing from people around the world. People started messaging me and interacting. And I knew that this was going uh, so well, why stop it there? So I started the inaugural Total Bottom Support Group, uh, which I put in the Taylor Square Fountain uh, in the heart of the gay ghetto, right in the fountains there. And um, of course the fountains went on and I got drenched and nobody showed up and it was very tragic. <laughs> But what was really fun is that there was a level of play that was happening and, a and people were starting to really engage with this content. And I just want to show you, um, it's by no means the funniest uh, part of this clip, but um, it's, it's just a level of where the interaction started to go to. I learned something big that day. Stupid fountain. These things just have to start small. Are you a total bottom? You're a bottom. What this group is designed for? Did you want to sign your petition? I do. So we just need an email. But once you start, nothing can stop them. Are you turtle bottom? Hey, are you turtle bottom? You're turtle bottom too. Goodbye, turtle bottom. Bottom glaze. Bottom glaze. I got six signatures. Mm -hmm. The power of the turtle. Bottoms. I don't want to have to cover it up anymore. Me either. Together we're going to make a difference. TV. TV. Five bottom 
feminism, civil rights, don't diss my ability, the gays, huh, they've got nothing on us. I mean, this is a group that finally means something. Who doesn't love being a total bottom? So that was, uh, yeah, the Total Bottom Support Group. And um, it uh, also had a great response. And again, uh, the level of play and the interactivity that started. Um, it, uh, that video, and, and indeed coming out as a Total Bottom, or Glace coming out as a Total Bottom, um, actually uh, started to pave the way, I think, for the way Glace is now seen and a way of communicating uh, to an audience and actually building a brand and, a, and an experience that people can understand and relate to. And certainly for me with Glace Chase, what is so exciting and so refreshing in these very overstimulated times where everyone seems to be quite politically correct, that there's a character out there that's quite wrong. He's quite um, sincere, he's lovable, but he's definitely flawed. He definitely doesn't quite understand the world. Um, but he's, he's, he's got really good motivations. And and he's very playful and people are starting to really connect on Facebook and YouTube and are starting to play along with him, which is the point of Glace Chase and, and is to allow, I guess, all those people who are minorities or outsiders or a little bit different or who just want to have a bit of a laugh and take, uh, and take the piss out of themselves, that it's okay. Um, and so that's what Glace Chase is for me. And if you are on Facebook or YouTube, please friend me. So thank you. <laughs>